Kenya's Gold. Now, there are so very many factors that contribute to the dawning pandemic of climate change. But according to studies, the use of non-renewable energy sources is the main culprit. So how do we tap into renewable energy sources? Now, that is the whole point of our show every single Friday right here at Kenya's Gold. Now, we do have a fantastic show lined up for you on all matters, climate, smart agriculture and sustainability. My name is Violeta Ngina. Jina langu ni Emmanuel Terer na ikishafika wakati huu basi ikiwa ni Ijumaa unajua kwamba tunazingatia sana tabia nchi lakini kubwa zaidi inafurahisha kwamba tunapoangazia kule tunaegemea vile vile masuala ya ukulima mushowe na upate chakula angalau fuatilia kipindi cha Kenya's Gold bila wasiwasi lakini leo basi tuna mengi tumekuandalia japo kuwa kuna yale ambayo tuliangazia jana tupate kutazama the dollar lacking in Pakistan therefore you are not getting the money Egypt is not having the dollars there is war in Russia we cannot export our teas there there is there, there are Sri Lanka and India they are producing more right now for example in the orthodox market we are no longer now able to sell because there are other countries are producing better than we are and they are closer to the market therefore their cost of transport to the market is cheaper than ours wakulima wa kiugana wanaweza kuwa na msemo kwa soko. Huo msemo ndio saa hii wakulima hawana. For the youth, kindly, agriculture is the way to go. There is uh, you need the farmer three times a day. Nakumbuka alivyosema mnamo mwaka 1995 kulikuwepo na nafasi ya kutopata ajira. Lakini aliyegemea masuala ya ukulima na baadaye akawa gwiji na sasa anasema kwamba wakati huu tunatafuta nafasi ya ajira hasa katika taifa la Kenya basi tukimbie kule maana kuna mamilioni ya pesa. Absolutely right. We did have a fantastic show yesterday learning so much on how our tea gets to the market once it leaves the factory and it was also interesting to talk about how we need to emphasize on increasing local consumption of our tea because just in case something happens to international market which can be quite unpredictable at times then we will suffer a great loss we will definitely keep that conversation going right here at Kenya school but for now let us switch gears to the agenda of the day now we are all about encouraging our farmers to use renewable energy sources now right about now we're about to witness a farmer a very impressive one at that who's using waste from flowers to generate biogas our gold feature coming right up we'll show you how that happens take a look Unaponiona sijitarishi kwa sababu ya miadi ya mapenzi. Hayo ni maua kweli ambayo mara nyingi tunapeleka kwenye miadi hasa ukichumbiana. Lakini leo taratibu ni kufahamisha kwamba hayo maua ni taka tayari yametupwa kwenye kampuni ya kutengeneza na kusafirisha maua lakini mbona maua maua hayo yanatumika kama taka na baadaye kugeuzwa kama kawi safi utaratibu wenyewe unafanyweje ni naye mwandishi ambaye atatuelekeza katika utaratibu ili nao upate kufahamu bingwa hujambo Sijambo, eh, karibu grants. Aina na yana bwana. Naomba sana utangulize jina lako and tell me how do we transform this one? Um, kwa majina ni John Mushori. Mm -hmm. um, ni engineer hapa Grants Biotech Limited. Mm -hmm. Huku tutajihusisha sana na kazi ya kutengeneza green energy. Okay. Gesi tunaita biogas. Okay. Nayo tutatumia waste Mm -hmm. Nyetuko nayo hapa mm -hmm. najua yaka vizuri sana lakini <laughs> uh, muda, muda baadaye tuweza pata gesi kutoka hapa okay. gesi yenye na matumizi nyingi ambayo okay. tutakuonyesha kote kule sana kugawe kadhaba sasa la kwanza kabisa we mdogo una umri gani bwana miaka 27 ah pongezi bwana kwa kujituma mm. nielekeze mimi ndio mwanafunzi nataka kusoma hapa naambie utaratibu wenyewe unaanzaje mm. hadi pale utakapopata gesi terer Najua nataka kuelewa vile biogas tuatengeneza hapa mm -hmm. na science yote ambayo yatekelezwa hapa mm -hmm. lakini kwa sasa wacha kazi iendelee mm -hmm. alafu nitakuelekeza kando kwenye utelewa okay sawa sawa ni safi sawa sawa hizi ni nini 
hizi za safirisha the liquid yenye iko na bacteria oh, okay. yenye inatusaidia ku digest um, hiyo maua kuisiaga uh-huh. ili tuweze kupata gesi kutoka yenyewe sasa yeah. so nieleze sasa wewe mwenyewe nipatie the whole procedure kuna mtu anakuona home na nashangaa mm. hii inaanzaje mpaka tufike hapa just to give a brief explanation and just to get an understanding of what's happening here the flowers come in they are loaded inside these um, shipping containers and then um, we'll, uh, as we've seen the shipping containers are lined with a pvc bag so we later on close the bag and then pump in liquid that is filled with bacteria that helps in the whole digestion process kuna maji ambayo umesema tunayaongeza bwana tunapata wapi maji hayo I know most people when I, when I talk about biogas they keep they just understand um cow manure and all so it's right so to get this liquid we had to use originally cow manure so that we can be able to culture the bacteria so we let the flowers inside the containers stay inside there for a period of 28 days and then we get it out and then that's it and then the digestion process is complete so we are limiting the oxygen just to provide a good environment for us, for these specific bacteria that will help in breaking down um, the flowers to be able to get biogas as it is this design is meant to cater for tough materials um, in a scientific process we call it um, lignocellulosic materials So we are talking about um, plant materials that have a tough tough exterior to break down under normal circumstances. So we are talking about things like um, sugarcane waste, something we call bagasse. We are talking about sisal waste. We are talking about um, maybe bean waste to be able to you to use it inside greenhouses. You can also use the CO2 to to make something we call single cell proteins which can be used as feed for fish and feed for chicken. Uh, something we call um, vermicompost. Feed it to your worms and then their excrete is used as um, good organic matter that you can put back into your farm. You can use it for power generation, electricity, inside generators, for cooking gas. The first challenge that we came across was trying to culture the bacteria to be able to break down the flowers high capital expenses to set up such kind of innovations um, the other challenge we have is limited innovation and limited exposure in Kenya when it comes to biogas technologies um, the other challenge that we've also come across is um, the uptake of the technology from other you know farms that want to have waste management system you know future goals look into probably providing more energy and providing more gas and maybe start selling gas it's it's an untapped market kwa maelezo yako yote umeeleza lakini nataka kufahamu namna tunakusanya hii gesi tukijaza liquid yetu yenye ina bacteria tunaacha small column hapo juu kidogo hapo ndio gasi kitengenezwa ina accumulate hapo juu so inatoka from um, this outlet here flows through the gas meter and out into this common gas line that we have here straight into our gas storage so all the gas from each individual digester ends up into these uh, two big balloons that we see here so this is these act as our gas storage so each one of them is about 20 cube of um, 20 cube of storage all the gas that you get here just comes straight and runs this generator So as we earlier said that um, we are using it in house so from this we are able to get power that we are able to run our small systems for about half a day age is just but a number they say it you can be 19 years you can be 18 years you can be you know as early as preschool but have the desire to be able to push on green energy and so long as you have passion in whatever you do you can be able to achieve everything from it Bana nimesubiri sana kuona kama tutapata moshi lakini hakuna chochote. Ndio maana tunasema kuna usafi hapa. Kazi safi ndugu yangu, kwa kazi nzuri, umeeleza kwa undani. Kwako pia 
ni nafasi umefahamu kwamba maua yakawa taka taka yenyewe akageuzwa kuwa gesi na tayari tumeona generator nguvu ambayo unaipata hapa tunaita kawi safi kabisa tusemeje kutoka eneo la Naivasha Grand Biotech Emmanuel Terer Kenya's Gold yule bingo alikuwa mlumbi sana anazungumza kwa kuelewa sana yale ambayo anayesema na akasema kwamba hata ingawa ukijiona miaka kuanzia 19 na vile vile kwenda kule mbele basi usijione duni maana unaweza tunza mazingira na kuhakikisha kwamba hatuna athari ya mabadiliko ya tabia nje very impressive at just 27 years old he is definitely doing the most in the space of agriculture a true embodiment of the Kenya gold spirit and we totally love to see it now biogas is the green gold of farmers if you want to understand the true meaning of that statement and where that gold is how about you stick around with us because after this short break that we are about to take we will be joined by a guest in studio who will be shedding a lot more light on the gold that is biogas however in the meantime feel free to talk to us across all our social media platforms on instagram at kenya's gold our sms line is 22422 and our email is kenyasgold at royalmedia.co.ke. See you after this short break.